Hi everyone, I'm Angela, and today we'll be going through another linguistics Olympia problem. Firstly, Following the highlighted words and the circled words, we can mix and match to find which English word corresponds to this language. Now, knowing the word order is extremely important because not every language has the word order of subject, verb, object. From simple mix and matching and logic, we can find out this language has the general word order of verb and then subject. To solve this problem, we also need to be aware of the tenses. In the translations of this language, we have present continuous tense and also past tense, and these can be classified by separating prefixes from the verb. The prefix that starts with K indicates past tense, while as the prefix that starts with M indicates present continuous tense. Knowing the English translation of the part of the phrase unknown, knowing the tenses and knowing the word order, we can begin to solve the problems below. These are the key points that you need to know before solving this question. Now keep watching to see how I approach this question.
Thank you so much for watching everyone. This video is quite short, but hopefully you understood how I approached this linguistics Olympiad problem.